Welcome to the show. Thank you. So I've wanted to host you for the longest time. Wow, for yeah. real. But then, mm -hmm. from looking at your pictures, I felt like you're so intimidating. <laughs> like, you're so serious. I try to put up on your baby, but on the guys. You know, guys usually tell me they can't approach me because they feel like uh -huh. I have this intimidating factor about me. And it's so yeah. annoying because I'm just... Imagine oh, that's God. the vibe. So, initially, I was like a bit 50-50 about talking to you because mm -hmm. I was like, Sasa, si jui nita ku approach Aji. Maybe nita kuja lafu semezi, rafa mungu na talk to you. You see. What? How? See, I don't know. You know different people react differently. Yeah, okay, true. Yeah. But I don't know why I have such a vibe. But it's nice. For real? Yeah. Is that where you go to like business, Ama? No, I got into business because I like being my own boss. Ah. And I like having my own... I like having my own shit, yeah. yeah. So, I like being able to provide for myself and I want to be able to go out without having to explain to people or explain to my parents that you give me this, give me this. Yeah. I don't like it, so that's why I got into business. And plus, this was such a funny story on how, about how I got to start my uh -huh. business. Yeah. So I was out with my boyfriend. Uh -huh. We were at Art Cafe in Two Rivers. Yeah. And then, there's this store called Mina. It's a beauty store yeah. in Two Rivers. So we went there, we went, we got some beauty supplies, we got some nice shit and then one of the ladies there told me, your makeup is so beautiful, would you like to work for us as a makeup artist? And yeah. I said, sure, why not? How then we discussed, she told me the pay and everything. When I see, uh -huh. that was in, uh, in January. Of and this year? Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I was to start school around May. That's when I said, yeah. well, it's not this year. 2019, we're yeah. in 2020. Okay, in 2019, yeah. yeah. I think I'm so. I'm Yeah, so uh -huh. I talked to that lady, she told me my makeup is nice. If I if I want to, if I'd want to work there, I said, okay, sure. Yeah. So um, she told me the hours, and <clears throat> the hours were not flexible for me since I was to start school and my classes are from. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I still a in a breaks. Yeah. So I told her, can I get like off days or something? And she said, no, you can't. Yeah. So I got dis so disappointed because it's something I love doing, but yeah. I can't do it because I'm in school. Yeah. And at the same time, I love school. I can't actually stop going to school. And I my parents <laughs> come yeah. to listen to us. So, um, so we went back. We had coffee with my boyfriend again. Mm -hmm. And then we talked. We started talking. And then he told me, why don't you just start something of your own? So that's when it got me thinking. And I think he said it like a joke. I don't mm -hmm. think I was serious. Uh -huh. So I took it seriously. So I got home. Then I did my research. I started doing my research for like uh, two weeks. Mm -hmm. I did my research on uh, the things I like, how I get to start a business, yeah, and, yeah. and everything. So yeah. So eventually I did. I found out everything I needed to do. Yeah. And then... I didn't have capital, I had uh -huh. zero money uh -huh. at any, I didn't have anything completely, I had 3500, yeah. uh -huh. so I just pitched the idea to my mom, I yeah, told yeah. her this is what I want to do, if you could just help me with like, the capital I used was 16,000 to be exact, uh -huh. I started with 16,000. Wow. So I told her, could you, just, could you help me with 16,000, I just want to do this, this and this, and obviously she didn't believe in me. Because uh -huh. it's an African parent. Oh, yeah. How true, can you tell true. them I want to start a business and I'm Especially just something they haven't heard about. Yeah, true. Yeah. And I'm just 19, that's what I mean, yeah, uh -huh. So she just gave me, but uh, because it's like, mm, you skeptical, just, skeptical. You fail. Yeah, uh -huh. but I don't want to make you annoyed because you're my child. Yeah. Let me just give you, even if you fail, like you tried, you get. Yeah. So she didn't yeah. believe in me that much. Oh. So I got the capital, I made my first batch of glosses yeah. and it went amazingly, I didn't even nice. expect that. I sold out in two weeks. Wow. Yeah. Hey. I started with like um, 150 glosses yeah. and I sold them out in like two weeks. Wow. And that was thanks to so many people. People, you know how people are just posting on your stories. Yeah. yeah. That, Twitter. Wow, that is so helpful. Yeah. Because that's how the word got to spread about my business. Yeah. yeah. And at the time, it was under the name Caramel Chica Beauty. Because yeah, I didn't I have a that. name. Oh, I, I didn't saw like that. it though. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't like it. I just needed a name quickly. I get and you. Okay, I was bothering my friends, telling them because it's my because mm, <laughs> my friend called Nduta. So I was telling Nduta, I can tell what what name should I put. So I told her the first name I had was Black Bull Cosmetics. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, I created the logo. It was a nice, a pretty thing. Yeah. Then I told her the signature will be a black bow on all the packages. So that's why it's called Black Bow Cosmetics. Then I said, Mom, okay, sure, it's nice. I, yeah. Then I didn't feel like it. So I told my boyfriend, I want something with Barbie because, you know, I like girly things, uh-huh, I like uh-huh. pink. Yeah. Then I said, okay, sure, just do what you want. You know, like, they don't want to disappoint me. Yeah. But you see, I'm sure at the same time, they didn't believe in me that much. As in, you know, I Yeah, I get you. I get you. So that's how it went. And then, and yeah, it's just been going well since then. Nice. How has your boyfriend been through mm-hmm. this whole process? Because let's say, through some of these emotions can be very overwhelming, especially to guys. Oh, yeah. So how, how has he been reacting? <laughs> First of all, yeah. I'm the most petty person. Uh-huh. As in, I am I'm so petty. And he, I'm so petty. And I just thank God that he's understanding because yeah. eh, if he wasn't, I can yeah. get a miniature. Uh-huh. Um, he's been my greatest emotional support system wow. for me because he's someone I can call and just tell that my business is just going to shit right now i just don't want to keep doing this everything is just falling apart and he'll yeah. come up with a solution like he'll tell me okay um let's do this this and this and i like the fact that he's always saying let's or we or it's yeah. always in like us like yeah. see what we need. let's do it together don't do it I alone get you. you get so that's one thing that i love about him that he's always helping me throughout even when i started he was like uh just give me your deliveries so yeah. since he lives in, yeah, he lives in yeah. Nairobi <laughs> side, and I live along Flicker Road. Yeah. So I'll say, I'll do deliveries for this side, yeah. and you can just do yours. Because when I started, I didn't have a delivery system. Yeah. Even in the I get you. And that was so hectic because I get a delivery when I'm on the road. When I'm on my way to town, what should I do? Yeah. I can't go back home then come back come again. Back, yes. It was so so stressful, but. He's been with me throughout everything and he's been yeah. understanding. You know, there are days he'd call me and I'm hung up and I'm, and I'm block everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I'm telling him I don't want to talk to you. Uh-huh. As in, I'm mad. So he'll email me or something and he'll just do something. He'll email you. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> he'll just do something uh-huh. to find a way to talk to me. He'll call my sisters. He'll yeah, tell them. yeah. Because at this time, he threatened like, to call my mom because I wasn't wow. speaking his calls because I was just emotional. Yeah. But yeah, he's just, he's just been amazing. He's wow. such an amazing person to be with me throughout everything. Uh-huh. And yeah, even when I'm at my lowest points or at my highest points, he is one yeah. person who understands me and like he knows the real me. And he, me you. before money and me sitting in the money, sana, uh-huh. but <laughs> me right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, that's why. He's just one person that I really love because of that. Wow. Yeah. Now that you've explained this with so much love and passion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that you've wow. mentioned it with that much passion. Mm-hmm. Well, considering that you've you've figured out what you're doing. Yeah. And you are settled relationship wise. Yeah. Does has he met your mom? He's talked to my mom. He has talked to my mom. Gotcha. Or it even no, depends on how long have you guys been dating? We've been dating since seventeenth uh, June this year. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> last year. Ah. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's that's long enough. Quite long, but yeah. my mom knows he exists. Yeah. Mm, he's met my sisters. My mom is not usually always available. Like she travels. She's usually traveling a lot because of work. Yeah. But my mom knows I have a boyfriend. Like, cause he sends me things. Like he can uh-huh. send me a gift on my birthday or something and yeah. my mom will just know, oh this is from Nani. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Nice. So settling completely in a relationship, have you ever thought of when that can happen? Considering now, like mm-hmm. you know when you, you feel like I think I've figured stuff out. Mm-hmm. So why why have this mentality of maybe I'm gonna get married at twenty eight, thirty? <laughs> Has that has that thought ever come to mind? That's just the question. 
I like enjoying life, let me say mm. that. Mm-hmm. Like, in as much as I know what I want, and first yeah. of all, I have a type. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what type? What am I type? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have I like people who have their life and shit's got together. I don't like yes. someone who okay, not that it's bad, but I like people who know what they want with life. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know how to even explain it. I just like people who know what they want in life because I know what I want in life. Since it's like me 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 now like as you could say like pushing or something. Yeah, or like I'm telling you me I'm working or I'm doing something like I'm working on my business and shit and you're telling me um change to live you get like for me yeah. it's not that it's bad to have fun like I'm young yeah I yeah. like having fun but then I feel like you know I don't know what I want to have achieved by the time I'm 25 nice. so yeah. I wouldn't want to be deterred from that just because of enjoyment yes I yeah yeah I go out with my friends every now and then Mm-hmm. Like whenever there's something that comes up and I'm available, yeah, sure why not? But then I like someone who's got together with their life. Yeah. yeah, nice. So does he also have a thing on his own, or considering that he also helps you to the business, does mm-hmm. he get a part of that? No, no, no. He has his thing on his own. Yeah, yeah. So he he just helps out of being a nice guy and being your boyfriend. Imagine. Wow. Yeah. Nice, nice. So how would you take it if he asked for something from the relationship? Ah, from the business, mm-hmm. considering that you guys in a relationship or using that as the reason. Um, I don't okay, first of all I don't think he would, but like I'd offer this sometimes I offered by the way. Yeah, I yeah, offered yeah. like would you want to be partners with me? Because sometimes it gets so overwhelming. Parking, yes. especially right now because um things my business has expanded. It's a lot of work. Like I don't have time to pack orders. You know, I'm everything. I am my customer service, customer service agent. I am my yeah. sales agent. Yeah. I am my delivery man. I uh-huh. am. I am my manufacturer. Uh-huh. I am everything. Oh, so yeah. it's a lot of work. I get you. So sometimes, sometime back, I just told him, "Would you want to partner with me and help me, like, with business and everything?" But I think he just understood. Like. We just get each other, so he just knew that this business is mine. I would feel bad sharing it with anyone. Like he just knew, yeah. but he just volunteered to help. In the same way, if he has anything he needs help with, I'm always there for him. Yeah. So yeah. Nice. Going back to the whole independent mentality that I'm seeing you're having, yeah. Uh-huh. There's, let's say you can look at the internet and you're seeing that there's quite a number of girls who still don't have that. Uh-huh. Who might be dependent on, let's say guys who might be dependent on the whole older system. Uh-huh. So what would you tell another girl or other girls who might feel as if it's better to be dependent on other someone else instead of dependent on themselves? Um, for me. Yeah. I wouldn't I, I don't like being able to I don't like depending on people so I'd tell any other person who wants to like who like if you're my age you're okay no not my age I'm 19 if you're mm-hmm. like 20 21 yeah. you have so much potential right now because you can do so much yesterday I don't think I said the day before yesterday I just posted a tweet and I said don't trust into business because of this and this but turn your passion into your paycheck yeah. because you might be a person who loves cooking like my sister loves baking so so much yeah. and she bakes the best cakes mm-hmm. she's the reason I will never lose weight uh-huh. but anyway <laughs> so my sister makes the best cakes and see I tell you decide I want to start I want to get into baking because I want to get money yeah. you see it's something that she loved so what I tell other girls is find something that you're passionate about if it's beauty if it's a makeup this the industry is that you rated yes but especially the beauty yeah. industry because yeah. right now everyone sells lashes let me not uh-huh. lie uh-huh. everyone sells lashes yeah. but that won't stop me as they from selling lashes because nice. i'll make it different in my own way yeah. you see you can't say at least cuz people are doing this let me not do it, do it if yeah. it's something you love if it's doing lashes you love sell lashes if yeah. it's selling lip gloss you like find a way do yeah. your research that's one thing that you have to do google is there youtube is there everything is there all the yeah. platforms are there for you to do your research and once you're ready and you found something that you love turn it into your paycheck 
because you can't honestly you can't depend on someone for the rest of your life yeah, especially depending on a guy for me for me that's just not it because at times when i want to spoil my boyfriend like ningetaka ps5 expensive but like i'd want to get him some nice shit you know like yeah. i want to take him to man cave to get his hair done to yeah. get a haircut yeah. and says he's a just cuz um it's his hair and he's the guy in the relationship yeah, he yeah, do funny. anything yeah. yeah you see it's i feel like it's a partnership per se yeah. cuz like he'd help me where i want help mm-hmm. and i'd help him where he needs it yeah so yeah we should be in a position where we'd want to spoil each other without mtu mmoja skin ni kama anafinyi ni wati the guy ndio anafanya everything at the guy is buying me a phone the guy is paying for the uber the guy is paying for this if the guy pays for the uber I'll pay for the food like there's just we just need to yeah. find a, a way yeah. yeah so i just tell girls like I don't even know the word like just want to be your own boss it feels yeah. it feels so nice being able to just go to a store imagine yeah. you just going to mark and on a tv pesa na wata like you know what uh-huh. i'm going to i was watching a video recently of one of my favorite youtubers and she was saying how uh-huh. she was going to a car shop so she wanted to buy um what's what car is this it's called an audi q5 i think yeah. 2020 uh-huh. so she went to the shop she went to the car store and then um people are looking at her so badly cuz you know she looks like an instagram body you know how instagram bodies look at it uh-huh. they have nice wigs they have um long lashes lip gloss yeah, yeah. everything so not feeling intimidated just yeah so at a sick intimidated by some she can't be doing this oh, on her own yeah, yeah, so they yeah. were asking her to raise your man who's going to pay for this and she got mad so she just flick, flipping cash on them and that's the type uh-huh. of person i want to be like uh-huh. i don't want to be a t just cuz you because it looks successful there's a man behind me i yeah. uh, uh-huh. mm, that's not it for me <laughs> nice now considering that there's a lot of emotion that comes into business or a lot of things that happen even behind the scenes mm-hmm. how are you able to separate the emotion from the business and making sure that people don't really get to see all that you know um it's usually very hard to uh-huh. separate but i thank god that i've never had a tea, such a bad completely bad time where i yeah. could even project to my clients except for one day uh-huh. sometime last week i was just having a bad day so it's like yeah, that was just a bad day anyway mm-hmm. i was just having a really bad day everything was going south my deliveries were really rained on just uh-huh. everything was just going badly but i've just learned that when I open my Instagram page. I am not Debbie. I am somebody <laughs> else who owns a business. So yeah, first yeah. of all, my customers have to be happy. Like I have to make my customers happy. So yeah, yeah. customer service is the most important thing as you start a business. Yeah. You can't be rude. Even if you meet a client who is rude, I can't yeah. be rude. And you know, Debbie can be rude, but yeah. maybe the owner of the business yeah, can't. Yeah, Debbie the CEO can't. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie yeah. the CEO can't be rude. Debbie the CEO can't yeah. be rude. Yeah. But Debbie can. You see, so now uh-huh. I just I just know that Jambianga sasa ni kiongele she won't be buyer and I'm a place of their 3400. You yeah. understand me ngefanyia? Si ninge kwa nimeenda nimenunua something nice for myself. Yeah, so that's I how you. I think. So I tell myself, am I really willing to lose money? just because of someone who is showing me some type of arrogance you know mm-hmm. so I just choose to be the bigger person um nice. and yeah so I just let I just apologize if there's anything wrong as I come to something small like a delay not just like people who get annoyed because um a package was delivered like a few minutes late and you see it's not at my fault because I'm not the master of the weather I can't say that when I do do the delivery my mom will be in there I can't say that but you see the clients who get really pissed so I just say I'm really sorry um I can compensate you with this next time you get a, next time you buy again from me I'll mm-hmm. give you this for free so you just have to learn how to market and be a good customer service person because yes. so yeah that's just it but the Debbie, you mean you can only get a buy me I can be petty uh-huh. me I <laughs> hey, we are going to be petty, but not the no, I I cannot, you know. Nice. Now, 
going back to now friendships, you've talked about relationships and the perspective mm-hmm. of you and your boyfriend, mm-hmm. but now what about friendships? Because sometimes, or this is just how it only seems on the internet, mm-hmm. that all oh, this day gets money and then all these new people start showing up. Yeah. Have you experienced that and how are you, and if so, how are you dealing with it? Because well, you're 19 and a lot of 19 year olds like to party yeah. and they're saying you got the money. So why yeah. not hang out with the body CEO? True. Um, I can't say I've experienced it directly, but mm-hmm. maybe indirectly. Um, I'm a person who has a few friends. Like I have, I can count my friends. Ah. Like mm-hmm. I have seven friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't have seven uh-huh. friends. Uh-huh. But I have seven people who like the I can close trust. Ones, yeah. yeah. So these are people who I talk to whenever I want anything, like whenever just anything. When you're in need of yeah. yeah. So when I started my business, there were obviously people who are getting close to me. Eh. <laughs> anyway, they're not they're not they're not bad people, they're not yeah. tricks, but then I just knew they're coming to me because, you know, I seem like I have money right now. Yeah. But I seem like um, You got your shit figured out. Yeah. Yeah. So at you know, they attracted to me because at you. You know, she's cute and all. But uh-huh. for me, people who have stood by me when I was literally nothing, those are the people who I cherish. Like, um, Joaquin, you met your friends, you know, you know, like my friend called Zita. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. been with me throughout everything, everything, everything. Uh-huh. And even I was, since high school, let me say, nice. and she's still my friend. Yeah. My friend Zita, Esther, there are people who have just been with me as I've started my business. And in as much as I'm not always available, cause sometimes yeah. I can, I forget to open my chats, cause I'm always on my DMs, emails, Twitter DMs, just yeah. trying to make sales every time on my website, checking the progress. I get you. But the people would understand me. So I tell you, big yesterday, you want beer? Let's go get a drink. Yeah. To turn that and we'll split the bill. Like uh-huh. I won't pay, you know. Yeah. Not when you they'd see a tea, ah, cause a tea, she has money, let her pay for yeah, it. Yeah, let her pay for it. They're not like that. You see, those are people who now I value. But now these people, they're people who have come into my life, yes, um, and I've started my business. And there are some who have been so positive for me. And they're understanding they're also running businesses. I love that I've yeah. made friends who love, I mean, who have their own businesses. Who are also doing their and things, yeah. That's really nice, because you know some things you can't talk about with, your friends because I don't like on a brag like if I tell you I've made only one sale today or yeah like if I tell you something well how turn on a big deal but for someone yeah. who has a business they don't understand, understand me yeah yeah so there are people who have left my life also wow. yeah and I don't feel like it's a big deal because uh-huh. we are people we're humans we grow we evolve yeah. so if we fall out because of something and yeah, it's just there. Uh, Nasi or anything. We just don't talk anymore. Yeah. yeah. So it's just fine, and it's mostly because I wouldn't say it's all the blame is on me. because I started a business and I'm doing a lot of shit. I wouldn't yeah. say it's necessarily on me because when people who knew me before are people I still talk to right now. I so it's just something like we just we just fell out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nice. Do you believe in karma? Do you believe in like hey, the universe? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. What yeah. makes you believe in it? Because I've gone through so much, so, so much, yeah. yeah, so much shit with people and with situations in life. But I, I usually, I developed this attitude where I just let it go and let everything happen the way it's supposed to happen. People, I usually tell my friends, mm-hmm. Ati, come Okay, so last year conscience, time your conscience. Yeah. I didn't have money, I didn't have a ticket, I didn't have anything. But I uh-huh. you to to put on a town to touch you Uber, who took up a dearest cause. Uh-huh. Yeah, like I was just sure I didn't have money, I didn't have a ticket. Yeah. I didn't have at a school and go, you know, yeah. that was the last much to men go every time for a Well like, why is why 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 is that? So I don't even know. get it. See you get you don't to Janaki to judge. Yeah. To judge. <laughs> anyway, uh-huh. so me I didn't have anything, but I said I just know money will just come from somewhere. Tickets yeah. will just come from tickets somewhere. aren't even necessary. What I'm gonna store me. But imagine if I just wow. got a ticket. Yeah. That's so I just funny. believe that things happen the way they're supposed to happen in the earth. So I don't get annoyed at things. I don't get at the oh this thing go my way. 
mad, uh-huh. I just developed this attitude where I just let everything go and let it happen, especially to people who've hurt me in the past. Yeah. I just feel like it will just come back and bite you in the ass because it will, <laughs> as in, it's just will. Uh-huh. As in, God will just make something happen and it will come back and bite you in the ass. Even if I don't see it, maybe it's yeah. hurting them. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just something that most people should actually develop. Like, you don't hold things, like, don't hold things in your heart. Something yeah. bad happens to you, just let it be. Nice. Mm. So, is it is it the universe? Is it karma? Is it it's religion? It's God. It's ah. God. Okay, I'm, yeah. Nice. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm religious or anything, but I have a good relationship with my God. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Wow. 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 That's really cool. <laughs> Were you born in November? Yeah. I had a feeling. I way yeah. way. How did you know? <laughs> it's from it's from some of the things you've described. So your personality just fits it. No, ah, uh, you're lying. Imagine. How did you know? I just guessed. I. Yeah. No. <laughs> you also born in November. Yeah, yeah. Wow, when? Fifteenth. What? I'm older than you by one day. One day, but yeah. I'm twenty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm turning 20 by the end of the year. It's okay. Yeah. Wow, that's mm-hmm. really cool though. Mm-hmm. So, uh, let's say makeup aside and school aside, what other type of things are you interested in? Um, I do a lot of things. I feel like, when I started, I said, I feel like if someone can do something, I can also do it. Yeah. But the one thing I can do, how can you say I can do? I don't like is cooking. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just really don't like cooking. So after if my sister is away for one day, you better to just stop sister, what it uh-huh. is. I don't wanna cook. My uh-huh. mom okay, my mom likes to cook obviously she's a mother. But yeah, yeah, yeah. she will tell me how end of kapike, but I don't like it. Like yeah. I just do something. But crazy. you know how to cook. Yeah, I know how to. Yeah. But I don't like to like how to. Yeah. Ah. I don't like it. Um what else do I like? I love yeah. singing. Uh-huh. Um, I used to sing at a Leon's yeah. for concerts, small, small concerts nice, and everything. Nice. Yeah. I crochet. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Yeah, I crochet like small, small tops, hats, yeah. hats for my nephew. Wow. Um, now during this COVID time, mm-hmm. is that what, is, are some of these things that have been keeping you busy? Yeah, like that's, I've learned how to crochet. During <laughs> COVID? Yeah. Because I've seen that with a number of girls <laughs> on the internet. Yeah, and with uh-huh. jingles are too. Then uh-huh. mama I mean, Nifunza. Yeah. It was just like Nambia, where you know she no can make mistakes. I channel not know YouTube. Let me show you how you do it. Because yeah. you know what you gonna do on a two two nini two needles. Yeah. So then they have their own way. But she just taught me how to yeah, so that's one thing I've learned. Yeah. Um what else have I gotten into? Working out. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I started this COVID with a very strong yeah. passion. Uh-huh. I have a friend called Stacey who was telling me, let's go work out. I get you. Let's, you know, by the time Korean Nation a month, yeah. so we were traveling, we were mm-hmm. we looking nice, and go, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So, I started work out twice a day, hey, uh-huh. that didn't last long because <laughs> yeah. I had, I just got so preoccupied with so many other you. things. Yeah. Like, I think the first thing I'm I'm tracking progress of shipments. The Nagaria yeah. emails that Kakuna, if I've responded to any complaint anyone has, mm-hmm. then I just do so many things. Oh, and I started learning. Okay, I'm learning. I'm still yeah. learning about forex trading. Ah, nice. So that's something I want to get into. Let's talk about that. Why, <laughs> why the interest? Because I also, I also really like it. Uh-huh. I tried it um, sometime last year with a friend of mine, uh-huh. but then we lost a lot of cash. Uh-huh. So we took a break because we didn't like we didn't even study. We yeah, didn't do anything. Yeah, see, okay, generally come to us. My bro, I have this thing. It's called forex trading. Uh-huh. This is what you do. Get this software, and then we're gonna put cash. Yeah. So to in here. Initially it was really nice. Mm-hmm. We made the money, but then you know, cause it's really unpredictable. Yeah. Weekend moja too, we lost a lot of money. So we were like, okay, let's just leave this. Mm-hmm. But I'm currently also trying to study it. So yeah. what got you into forex or the interest now? My boyfriend. Ah, of course. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's most guys. I see, of course. Wallahi, wallahi. He trades in forex. Yeah. So. Um, he's the one who like told me about it. He told me, Hey, maybe you can to make this much yeah, money in yeah. Forex. After I was, I was so ready, like, to do, like, to start trading. And this was like last year that he told me about it, but I wasn't taking it seriously. Yeah. But right now, 
like I've just been seeing it everywhere. So many connects aside, I need to learn about this. Yeah. So I got into a group where people were teaching about forex and like giving you signals and you pay for them and everything. Yeah. But you know, hey, now you come to twenty-five dollars. It's quite signal. expensive. Hey, that's it's a, too it's much. quite an investment. Yeah, but yeah. so so let me just read about it. Yeah. So I started reading on some sites called Baby Peeps. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't even go preschool and I have to go to university. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So much. So my boyfriend told me that a better option would be just to watch YouTube videos because they have so yeah, there are a number of tutorials. Much. Yeah, hey, I just learned yesterday was I just finished a f yesterday night. I finished a four-hour video, wow. but it was any. I feel like that's everything I need to know about forex. Yeah, literally yeah. everything because it was so easy and simple to understand. Yeah, but at the same time, it has everything you need yeah, yeah. Is completely everything so yeah i just want to keep on learning Tuma link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah. so i just want to keep on learning and see how it's gonna go probably by the end of the year i'm yeah. getting to it seriously now and invest nice. but yeah yeah i just want to learn but yeah. i don't want to to pay people to give me their signals mm -hmm. because you know you never know if their signals won't work yeah has that were wrong then when you lose i can't blame them yeah you when well, you're a leap mm -hmm. up so keep learning and see where it will go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you get time to watch movies and series? Do you like which one do you like? Movies or series? I don't like movies. I love I love series uh -huh. so much. Uh -huh. It sounds like my day is so busy, Cindy. Oh yeah. Imagine it's not. Uh -huh. I, I get so much free time. Okay, it's because I don't sleep early. Then again. Yeah. I get, like um I'll download a series on Netflix the whole day as I'm doing other things in the background yeah, then yeah, yeah. Cool because like <laughs> my bedtime is at mm. nine uh -huh. so, that's early quite really early Come I'm on. a child don't, don't it's worry okay. I'm 19 <laughs> <laughs> so uh -huh. yeah I love watching series I uh -huh. just finished Riverdale I didn't know it was uh -huh. that nice really <laughs> you should have come in here Riverdale is nice yeah no it's not I find it really weird <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I like yeah. series like um, Blacklist yeah. and um, Prison Break. After nice, um, Money Heist, obviously. Yeah, everyone likes it. Yeah, but imagine you could have been Money Heist. Well, like. Imagine, uh, what else they like? Um, locked up. Uh -huh. Though the last season, the last season in my boat, since you are the funny thing, it's just, yeah. it just, it was a flop completely. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I like watching series. What do yeah. you feel about the fact that Imani has been quite drugged for so long? Do you think as if it's maybe losing its taste? It already did. Yeah. After season one, like it just yeah. Or is a new new thing. Yeah. Now it keeps acting the same thing. Mm, yeah. I wish they could have just like ended it. Like what may make season one really long, yeah. but ish. ish. I get you. Yeah. I feel like. One series that has maintained the pace throughout everything is Blacklist. Like Hija, why lose anything? I'm not how to get away with murder. Like you can get Game of Thrones. Did you watch? Well, I. I've tried it with Kalala. Ulilala. Mm. Like, yeah. You don't like this old stuff. Yeah. Medieval times. It's easy. Well, I. Unless it's Marlin. I like Marlin. Maybe it's quite a kid town, but I like it. Should I watch Marlin? Hey, it's nice. You should try it. Yeah. It's really nice. Wow. No, because initially you also say that you don't want to leave school to, or when you're being given this idea to not work for those days, mm -hmm. you don't want to leave school to do it. Yeah. But now you have your own business. Yeah. And there are some young guys who will think that if you have your own business, then why not just leave school and focus on your business? What do you think about that? Hey? <laughs> yeah, cause like yeah, when I no, I'm a young guy, but it's not bad by the way because uh -huh. for some people school isn't it, and that's not a lie. Like it's just yeah. a fact. School isn't it for some people, and for some people business isn't it at all. Yeah, that's I'm always first of all I'm always advocating for that on Twitter. I'm saying mm -hmm. you don't need to rush into business just because you're seeing Debbie or you're seeing someone running a business. No, no, yeah. in a couple. There are so many issues that yeah a lot of challenges made. behind the yeah. scenes yeah, so many yeah like every day some a new problem will come up but then what i advise people is that you you just you follow your passion like for me i love school i love everything to do with computer I, 
I get you. Yeah. So it's not that it's not that I would quit school. Yeah. But there's some time actually I wanted to take a semester break so that I could run my business or I, I could go and work there um at Two Rivers. Yeah. But my mom told me that's not wise because mm -hmm. what if my business fails? So you see you have to weigh your options and see yeah. what's gonna how it's gonna affect you. Plus you see you can't just enter start a business without without knowing if your product will be bought by people. Yeah. Who is yeah, the that's true. Who to say me like right now, to say me at my age I'm nineteen and most of my friends are nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Yeah. I can't say I'm selling houses. You see, I can't yeah. sell houses to people my age. So you find something that people your age, because those are those are most of people who you interact with, yes. will buy. So you can't just just jump into business. Nice. Yeah. What about that? There's this the 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 thing we just talked about right now about mm -hmm. how maybe as Kenyans mm -hmm. we have that mentality of to Africa twenty or twenty one or twenty two, that's when you're gonna start things. Mm -hmm. How what do you feel about how parents are not really believing in kids and ready to let them do their own thing starting whatever age they are really? It's so sad. It's yeah. so sad. I feel I usually feel really bad because you never know if that idea could be something that would develop into yeah. the biggest thing our country has seen right yeah, now. Yeah. And that's why I really thank God for my mom because I'm a kwakini idea. Like I want to start this, so I want to do the plan as next. Okay, she'll be a bit skeptical obviously, but yeah. she'll still support me. Yeah. And I wish parents could really adopt that. Yeah. Because like it's 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 not a bad thing for me as a young person to try and do something for myself. Yeah. Like I just want to be better than where I am. I want to have a better life than my parents are living. Yeah. I want to be able to comfortably live a luxurious life without feeling a teen at the bank account sana. I get you. you get, yeah. Yeah. Plus I've seen so many of so many of my friends usually tell me, like people my age, when I started my business, like my second batch, when I had my second batch of products, mm -hmm. um, people are telling me, I really want to start a business, I want to do this, but I don't have money, and I know my parents can't really help me. Like, it just pained my heart, because I felt like I wish I could do something to help, yeah. but see, at the time, me, I'm as developed, see, I have so much money to spare to help you start a business, and you. also maintain mine, because you know, starting is, starting is one thing, but you have to maintain it. Yeah. Because the products are one thing. You have to do social media marketing. You have to do face to face marketing. You have yeah. to pay to go to um places like what are this thing called? Like branches so that you can go set up a vendor's table and mm -hmm. sell. Mm -hmm. You have to keep talking to people, you have to invest in things like a phone, a camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so many things. You just have to any money will just money comes and yeah. goes so fast you don't even understand how fast it's gone but you see in the end like by the end of the year or by the end of the time i'm done selling this product yeah. i know something beneficial will have come out of it yeah so nice yeah. nice wow you read do you do you read this motivational book some easy my v2 i'm not a reader yeah <laughs> and i can read one page or something and sleep uh -huh. yeah wow. okay i Good. think it's all from my mom yeah like she talks to me a lot yeah plus she's these people who've made me see that where my family and where i've come from shouldn't be a determining factor of where i want to be in the future yeah. like even if my parents are not doing so well or even if my parents are doing well that yeah. isn't me that is not That's their their life. yeah yeah so i should create my own story i should have my own life yeah nice wow Hey, me and Dina feel inspired. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, as in, I think it's it's just really nice getting to hear this, and not from not from a I'm talking to a twenty eight year old. Yeah, I'm still, able, yeah, nani nani feel nani. yeah but, exactly. Yeah. But considering that it's this age group, I'm just like wow. And some other some other person who's this same age is gonna be like wow. <laughs> hey, the one makes sense. You have to watch this video, let's say, how many years from now? Uh, four or five years. Mm -hmm. What What's one thing you tell yourself looking at that camera? Hey, Debbie, <laughs> let me think. Let me think when I tell you, Debbie, just wait. 
um, uh -huh. never lose sight of who you are because people love the person you are right now and you love the person you are right now so keep working hard and yeah it will all pay off eventually oh wow. that's nice <laughs> cool so i think that's it thank okay. you for watching and thank you for coming i really I'm appreciate this so happy you called me. yeah yeah i appreciate this you're welcome all right cheers <laughs>